Hello everybody and welcome to today's video from Nick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Today we're going to give you more of a beginner's guide on how to use pipe benders, what it's all called and the best way to use them. Ooh. So first things first we need to familiarise ourselves with these lovely instruments. These aren't the easiest thing to use especially if you're a beginner. Uh, you almost need to be an octopus with eight hands to be able to control them properly but with anything, practice makes perfect. So to start with, you've got your arms here. These are simply where you hold them, hand, hand, and when you want to bend the pipe, you quite simply bend. Now if you're left or right-handed, depending on how you want to hold them, it's quite simple. You do whatever you feel is more comfortable. Um, whatever you do, don't put your finger in there, because if you pull it, you can pinch it and it'll hurt. Like and subscribe! This here is your former. This is also a former 15mm pipe, 22mm pipe. It's shaped the same shape as the pipe, the same curvature as the pipe, in order to make it bend nice and smoothly. This is your pipe, you put it in there for a 15mm and your 22mm one goes on the other side. So on your former here, you've got these marks here, here and here. And the same for the 22mm side. So this one here is a 90 degree bend. So if, when you've got your pipe in like this, you'll bend it, you come round, that's 90 degrees. So the pipe will be bent like so. If you half this, you're here. So half of 90 degrees, 45 degrees. And just using those two guides alone, those two marks alone, you can then start to, to gauge the whole former. So for example, 90 degrees is here, half it, 45 degrees is there, half that again, you've got about there is 22 and a half degrees. Once you've put your pipe in, you'll need to put your tube stop, which is this little device here, and what that does, it just holds the pipe in place like so, as you can see. I am holding it with my fingers there, but just like that. So now the pipe's in place, I don't want to wiggle it around too much because if I do, this will happen. Still hasn't fallen out. Try a bit more. You will fall out. Once you pipe in place with the tube stop, you then have your guide. This is what they call the guide. This is your 15mm one. There's also a 22mm one, which is obviously slightly bigger. So for the 15mm one, it's the same curvature as your pipe. The idea with that is just to help make it smooth. If you put it in the wrong way, with the flat side, say, that side, you're just going to deform the pipes. It's as simple as that. You then get it, you put that in place. Uh, now, I'm using my hip. You can just about see, I'm using the hip with the arm down here, just to help steady it. I've got my hand here, and I've just put the guide in place. And now, once I let the roller, this is called the roller, just hold that in place. And now the benders, the roller, the guide, and the pipe is pressed and sandwiched against the former just there. The point of the roller is when we pull this down, when we pull the arm down, and the pipe starts to bend around our former, this rolls. So you can see the 22 mil one here, which I'm not using. It rolls. So the whole idea of that just to make it smoother and easier and less pressure, less friction, so that pipe can bend nice and smooth. So it's really important to calibrate your pipe benders. So we've done a video on our channel right here, which explains how to calibrate it. But in a nutshell, once you've calibrated it, you put a pencil mark, which is what we've done here, that little blue mark there, which tells me that's the point of contact where the actual pipe starts to bend in that former and the whole idea and the reason behind that is so we can get super accurate bends once you've done all that you then give it a bend like this Ooh, yeah. once you've done your bend you now need to get your pipe out and the way to do that without everything dropping on the floor again use your body or my belly is this in this instance before you raise this arm up, you want to hold your former, uh, sorry, your guide and your copper, otherwise it's just going to fall out. 
like this. So you use your belly, you hold the guide, fingers clear because you don't want to pinch them when you raise your, this arm up. You raise it up, which loosens it. You can then pull this out. You've got the bend in the copper so it should stay in place. And then you move it like that. You don't know if you saw that, but the tube stop, move it. Didn't move this time. Flick it if you want to or just use your hand to do it. Grab your pipe, get your belly out of the way, arm up, done. Thanks for watching this short video. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe.